Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and I have to be serious now guys. This will be definitely my last five upload a week until like I'm on a break in December. So it's not too long. In the following weeks, I'm probably going to upload once or twice. I have exams to revise one. I have to prioritise. It makes me so sad, but I have to do it guys. So even though I enjoy uploading five days a week, it's just not going to happen until like I am done with my exams, my midterm exams. So yeah, next week I'll probably upload Wednesday and Sunday. Um, those are the days you guys chose. Just wanted to address that. I'm gonna miss it so much, but I will be there every week anyway, so it's all right, it's all good. Um, but anyways, today I am looking weird because I am gonna be um, testing out the, um, I think it's Dance on the Floor collection by Makeup Revolution, I forgot what it's called. But basically, Makeup Revolution have this new Christmas collection out and their packaging is stunning i have one palette and a lipstick that i'm going to be trying out today i did get the life on the dance floor guest list palette out of all the four palettes they came out with this was the one that caught my eye and i got this one and it looks like this like that's my palette guys isn't it it also comes in super pretty sparkly packaging so they've definitely upped their game on packaging that is like a stunning palette and then i came i got the same lipstick from this rose gold collection and i have the shade stiletto that i wanted i had to try this lipstick color it's just like the perfect brown it is coming a bit more pinkier on camera but in real life it's just like a true taupey brown okay let's just jump on to showing you a close-up of the palette and some swatches and then i'll be right back Okay, so those were the swatches. I'm nice and up close for you guys for when I do the eyeshadow. And I was actually really impressed by the shadows itself. There are a lot of mattes and a few shimmers, to be honest. There's only one, two. There's only, I think there's around like five or six metallic shades, but then the rest are more matte. Um, but this palette's just screaming out to me. My favourite rose were the second one and the last one. I think I'm going to go all out on this eye look and create... A really nice bright look because I've been missing out on my creativity lately I just feel like I'm not creative enough at the moment oh by the way it does come with a name ship a name sheet but I always lose these but this just for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna shout the names out um so the first shade I'm gonna be using is Jive I'm just gonna pop this in my crease I'm gonna have to be careful because I can already tell there's a lot of fallout with this palette and I've already done my base. I'm gonna take this amazing color that's been catching my eye, it's called Loose. I'm just gonna pop this all over. Literally, this is like a fluorescent color. That is stunning. Super pigmented as well. Then I'm gonna grab this another shade that I really wanted to try and it's called Dark Corner and it's this super pretty like deep reddish colour. I'm just gonna like then this on my lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade which is called Sleep. It's like a plummy colour and I'm just gonna like deepen that lash line a bit more. I'm also going to take another fluffy brush and grab dark corner again and I'm just going to deepen my crease area with that same colour. So make sure to grab your first brush and then blend those edges. So I've already got a ton of fallout on my face. Okay, so that's my lid done. I'm just going to quickly touch up with that bright fluorescent colour because I feel like that's disappeared a little bit. I'm then going to grab this super pretty metallic-y plum shade and it's called 
bold. I'm just gonna blend in some of my lower lash line. Just deepening the crease a bit more. Yeah. Very smoky, but a ton of fallout. How am I gonna take that off? I don't know. Just flick it. Oh, that worked! Literally, if you just flick it off, don't press too hard and it comes right off. Look at the intensity of this eyeshadow. The only thing is, I was a bit disappointed with the darker shade. I mean, even though I put it on my lash line, it didn't show up that much. I might try with a denser brush. Because it did do really well on the swatch. With a denser brush, it actually doesn't do that bad. I'm also going to quickly take some of the lightest colour and just the lightest matte colour and I'm just going to clean up my brow bone a bit there. Okay, I am going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished the rest of my eyes and I'm really digging this look. Um, very pleased with the eyeshadows actually. There is a bit of fallout but literally you dust it off with a powder brush and it comes right off. It doesn't like smear on your face which is good. The powders seem to blend really easily. I feel like the fluorescent colour is going a little bit patchy after a little bit. Like a while I had to like apply a bit more but now it seems to be fine. I don't know what else to say. Like it's a really good eyeshadow palette for £8. Um, there is a lot of matte colours but you do have a bunch of tones and a bunch of warm tones to work with. You've got your dark colours that work actually really really well um, with a denser brush. And yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with the eyeshadow palette actually. I'd probably rate it a... I feel like I could use every single colour in this palette. Like there's not too many pale eyeshadows. Like the lighter ones I can just use as my base or my lid colour on like my natural days I would say. So I would actually rate this palette a... I would give it a solid 9 out of 10 actually. It's really good for the price, the packaging. I'm dying for the packaging. The pigmentation, the blendability. The only thing that was the downfall was like the fallout which I'm not too bothered about, but you have to make sure that you do your eyes first. Otherwise, and anyways, if it does fall on your face, you can just brush it right off. Oh, and also, like, some of the eyeshadows do fade off after a while, which is why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. But overall, it's a really, really good palette. Um, so now I'm going to be... Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this uh, lipstick. So this is the Life on the Dance Floor Guest List Lipstick in Stiletto. The packaging has that really sparkly, pretty packaging. And this is what... This is what the colour looks like. I hope it's not going to be too light. Here's a close up of the lipstick. It is lighter than I thought. It's more on the beigey side, but I thought it would be more brown and darker than this. I don't know, I'm a bit disappointed by it, I have to say, but it is a nice colour. I thought it would be a more deeper, warmer brown. What's good about it is it managed to cover my pigmentation on the lips, so that's a thumbs up. I feel like with a lip liner, it would be a really, really nice combination. Right, I just applied one of my many brown liners and it makes it more wearable. I'm not too fond of the lipstick, to be honest. The formula is nice. It's very nice and creamy and comfortable to wear. It's very pigmented. I'm just gutted about the colour. I was so excited about this lipstick. It is a really nice colour to be honest and I feel like if you're paler than me it will look even better because you'll see more of the brownie tones. But on me it just looks really like beigey pink for some reason. Like my favourite lip colour to wear is like those yellow tone browns. I love those colours. So yeah, I don't know. It's a, The lipstick's good but the colour was a fail for me. Like it doesn't look like what I saw. It doesn't look like how I saw it on other people and it doesn't look like how it does I mean it does but I don't know I just wish it was more brown anyways um, I think that's it guys I have to say I'm loving the eyeshadow I love the eyeshadow so so much they were so like the way it tapers off and blends out I loved it so much I did go much higher than I usually go but I'm digging it so much um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really, really enjoyed doing this video for you guys. And then if you are enjoying these videos where I test out new products, let me know as well. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.